please join me in welcoming to the stage actress Odessa Young. And now join me in welcoming Josh O'Connor. Congratulations both on the film. I've got a couple of questions and then we have some time for questions from the audience. Um, I guess I wanted to start with uh, what drew each of you to these roles um, and whoever wants to start first. Odessa, do you want to start? Sure. Um, I mean, I really love the script. I really love the script. I, I hadn't read the book uh, until I had received the script. And the story of the book is amazing and beautiful, but it is very much told from the perspective of that one day. And then going back and reading the script, it was fleshed out. Her later life is fleshed out, and I just really loved the transitions that she went through to get into the later areas of her life. And I mean, it's as simple as that. I just really, I really loved it, and I was lucky enough to get offered a role, <laughs> as it usually is. <laughs> Josh, what about you? Uh, yeah, it's similar. I just really like the script, and I thought that I think I think there's like um, I don't feel particularly in the UK. There's there have been an awful lot of stories about the First World War and the Second World War, and not an awful lot about the the time in between. And particularly after the First World War, there was a kind of a whole generation of young men that were wiped out, and I think. Um, trying to understand the psyche of a man whose friends and brothers and, um, and entire generation were wiped out and he was left behind. I thought that was interesting. That was it, that's my answer. Yeah, um, I, I... Sorry, I didn't no, round no, it off in a way. That's but. good. Um, I agree and I love the way you do that. Can you talk about, as an actor, what it was like to try to portray that weight that you were feeling? Because as you said in the, in the book, you know, you're the last surviving son, so you're sort of carrying a lot of weight and expectation. And I'm wondering how you chose to sort of approach portraying that as an actor. Um, well, because, I guess because there's, a, um, there's an awful lot of uh, literature First of all, there's a lot of literature around that, uh, particularly poetry, so I found that quite helpful. Um, there's also a lot of art, uh, the kind of, um, the Bloomsbury set, which is a collect collective of artists um, around then, and they, produ they produced a lot of work, um, particularly Duncan Grant, around that sort of, John Grant, sorry, uh, who created a lot of work around then. So that, I found that really helpful. Yeah. And can you talk a little bit about what it was like to work with Ava Hussan, who did such a great job directing the film? Either one of you. I mean, Ava, Ava's a wonderfully generous director in the sense that she collapses the space between acting and directing. And there were a lot of scenes that we shot in the movie where there were only very few crew members allowed, and I'm sure you know what those scenes are. Um, the driving scenes. The driving the, scenes, yes. no one could be on the road. Of course, we've got to very clear dangerous. the highway. Yes. Yeah. Um, but she, I think it, you know, it was really nice to be in those spaces with her because she never felt aside or outside of what we were doing. And it, it's true for the rest of the movie as well. It always felt like when I don't know, I think often you can just feel like a monkey dancing in front of a camera sometimes. And she, she broke down that boundary and was really kind of in it with us. It felt like her stakes in what happens on camera were as much as ours. And that's just a very comforting place to be. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I completely agree. She, she, yeah, she's also, because I, I think Eva, was she an actress? She, she was, yeah. 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 I think that's sometimes quite an interesting dynamic. She, yeah, she sort of like knew how to kind of, she knew the story inside out, um, knew all the po kind of points to hit and yeah, I mean, Odessa had a kind of much longer journey on this film, but <clears throat> most of my stuff, in fact, all of my stuff, I think, is just that one day, Mothering Sunday, um, in one room, with not an awful lot of clothes. And so, but she understood, I guess she, yeah, she, sure, she, she sort of understood the, the psyche and the, the importance of um, the sexual relationship 
the kind of physical side, but also the emotional, spiritual side. She understood that to a T. I thought it's really, yeah, and she, she was able to kind of articulate it really well. Um, speaking of what, what's your reference there, um, given your character's vulnerability that each of you bring and the fact that you have a lot of nude scenes in the film, how did you two work together? <laughs> yes, at least the cut I saw. They yes. made it in? Yes, they made it in. They made it in. <laughs> exactly, I know. It wasn't all just driving and tea and crumpets. Um, given that fact, I'm just wondering how you two were able to sort of achieve a level of comfort in working together, um, given that fact. Okay. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Um, yeah, well, Odessa's is really nice, which really helps. Um, that's all. <laughs> yeah, and that's it. No. no, I think we just like we got on really well, and um, and that definitely helps. And I think, yeah, we actually talked about this earlier. I think basically, um, this so this is adapted from a novel, which is spectacular and worth reading. Um, and so much of the novel is about this physical chemistry um, that the two of them have. And I think there was just kind of never any doubt about how significant, you know, the way Paul Sheringham dresses is such a, um, is put into such detail in the novel and in the script. Um, the way that they are together is so detailed. So I think there was no there was no doubt about I think Odessa said earlier like perfectly which is like there was no doubt about like let's scan over the nudity I think it's essential um, and I think that combined with the fact that the two of us and Eva were like really sure about making it a comfortable space making it um, feel safe uh, it was all fine really it was really nice well I think. The, the way that the story is written, with, and this is true of the book as well, and also in our screenplay, is that I don't think we had to do much work to like create the chemistry or the intimacy, because it was all written. I mean, these characters yeah. share six years of history with each other. And I believe, it's my, I am of the opinion that the screenplay deals with it really beautifully in that kind of casual understanding that they have between each other. And... You know, I think sometimes it's also just luck. Like, I, I think I'm, I was lucky that Josh is just a top-notch guy and hilarious. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's been fighting for that all night. Thank you. <laughs> um, and, and it was just easy because of that. I mean, I think, you know, we, we showed up to the challenge. Yeah. We committed. That's kind of, yeah. that's all I can say about that, yeah. And Odessa, can you talk a little bit about um, portraying your character at different ages um, and, and, you know, at, at sort of different stations in her life, not only because of her age, but starting off where she was and then be, being a woman of that age and having a different career path and everything. Can you talk about what sort of changes you may have needed to do, um, vo vocal or anything else, to sort of to feel comfortable portraying an older age like that? I didn't know when I was cast in the movie that they wanted me to play... 46-year-old Jane as well. So that was a bit of a shock. Um, and I think, the, I think when I found out, I was actually having a meeting with my accent coach who said, and so what do you have in mind for in the 1940s? I said, absolutely nothing, because I didn't know that was going to be me. Um, but I, I, I don't know. I think that, you know, I hate to sound like a broken record, but I really do think that it's a testament to Alice Birch's writing, who adapted the screenplay from the book. Um, because it never felt like I had to do any extra work to make her sound like she'd come through what she'd been through. Somehow, I think Alice is just kind of a magician in her writing. All of that self-possession that she gets, all of that charisma and confidence that she develops is just reflected in the writing and the dialogue and in the relationships that she can actually have with, with people later on in her life. Um, so yeah, you know, I had the I had the conversations with the dialect coach Neil Swain. He's wonderful about you know how a voice progresses through life, but ultimately the the conclusions that we came to is that it doesn't progress that much. You just become more of yourself, and yeah, I think I think that that's kind of what Alice achieved in her writing. So I didn't. I mean, I wish I had more of a no. That's great <laughs> process, but. <laughs> Okay. Just kind of threw something out and it stuck. <laughs> there we go. Well, we have time for a couple of questions from the audience in case, uh, yes? I just want to say, I, had, 
I was lucky enough to uh, interview these two fine actors this afternoon, and I didn't, hadn't seen the movie yet, so now I want to tell you, I'm so impressed. The movie was fabulous. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Does anyone, anyone have, any, uh, have any questions? Because I've got one or two more if you don't. But, um, but if you have any burning questions. Um, Odessa, I wanted to ask you, um, your scenes with Colin Firth. My best are, friend. Is that right? That's very, don't let Josh hear that. Um, uh, there's not a lot of dialogue in them, or, or at least, the, you know, it's, it's minimal dialogue, but there, there's such a, an interesting sort of tension and connection there, particularly the scene when you find out that, that Paul has died. Can you talk a, a little bit about those scenes with, um, with Colin Firth? Your best friend? My best friend, Colin Fuss. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's just so easy to work with someone who likes you so much. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm kidding. Josh and I had uh, and, and have a continuously running competition on who is Colin Fuss's best friend, which I am winning <laughs> by miles. I, also, I, I think neither of us are his best friend, if we're honest. Why don't you, actually, I don't know. Why don't you admit. each call him and see which, which phone call he takes? Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I have his number. He's okay. definitely not my best so friend. So then he's probably not your <laughs> yeah. best friend. He's definitely not. there's best your best answer. Yeah. Um, those <laughs> scenes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think, that, I think that Jane's relationship with Mr. Niven is at, on the surface level, that classic upstairs, downstairs. You know, he has appreciation and respect for his maid, but is not friends with his maid. Um, but I think that what's really nice about how that relationship progresses is, is how much those characters actually start to lean on each other by the end, or, you know, by the end of what we see in the, in the film. And how much Jane's presence means to him as someone who's lost all of his children, and how much his presence means to her as someone who's never had a parent. And... I think, you know, those scenes, I think just so much of emotion and our lives and our connections are shared in the silences. And I think that those scenes are kind of exemplary and in the sense that it's not, it's never what they're saying. I mean, Colin Firth's character, and he plays this so well, but he has some truly meaningless lines. You know, when the phone rings and he goes, they called on a Sunday, good Lord. You know, like, who, who says that? That's not a thing. You can call someone on a Sunday call a wrong number on a Sunday. You know, it's, it's that kind of, that, that performance and that pretense that I think breaks down for both of them, you know, as, as the movie progresses. So uh, that's, I don't know, that was, it was really satisfying to, to, to perform and to work with him because he is my best friend, so. <laughs> Well, I want to thank you both so much for making this wonderful film and taking the time to come share it with us. Thank uh, you. We really appreciate it. And thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody, for coming tonight. Thank you, Odessa. Thank, Thank you. you, Josh. Thanks so much. Thanks. Thank, Thank you. you for having us. Thanks, everybody.